Greetings everyone. Today, we'll take a look at this cheap Bluetooth amplifier to show you why this is my best Bluetooth receiver so far and it cost me only 2 USDs. So, we'll start with its specs. Now, this board needs a supply voltage between 5 to 30 volts DC to operate properly. Although the main circuit actually uses 5 volts only, the reason why it has this built-in back converter circuit to step down the voltage to 5 volts, and that means don't expect to have a powerful output with these chips because the best feature of this board is actually its Bluetooth chip which is supported by this application. And in this application, you can customize its equalizer settings that will take effect in any media player like YouTube or Spotify. And it can support Bluetooth rename as well and will be shown in all devices making your project more personalized. These settings will be saved by the chip even after uninstalling the application. And as for the amplifier, here's the music test. And so, these chips are suitable for small speakers only because it can only deliver 2 to 3 watts RMS into a 4 ohms load or 3 to 4 watts RMS into a 2 ohms load which is not enough for high power applications. But the good thing is we can take the signal from the Bluetooth chip directly and connect it into a high power amplifier. And to do that, here's the connections. First, remove both amplifier chips since they're useless anyway. The audio signal from the chip goes into this one microfarad capacitor, into a 38 kilo ohm resistor, and into the pin number 4 of the removed IC, while the other channel goes to another one microfarad into a 38 kilo ohms and another pin number 4. So here are the connections, ground to any ground pad in the board. The right channel to pin number 4 and the left channel to another pin number 4. You need to remove this 38 kilo ohm resistor as well and short them. Its pads are very small so I shorted it including the capacitor. So the output have an offset voltage of 1.3 volts but it's not a problem since all amplifiers have input coupling capacitor anyway. And finally, connected it into my TPA3118 mono.
and lastly the optional display since the LED can be configured I added a low pass filter into it with a 200 ohm and 3 kilo ohm resistor into a 100 microfarad capacitor by adding this it will have different voltage level depending on the state of connection of the module and it can be determined by a microcontroller I use an Arduino with an ST7735 LCD display here you can display anything you want with any display module this is not necessary but adding a custom display will make your project unique or personal which is the main reason why I love DIY. I will make a 2.1 amplifier with this in the future using a demultiplexer to switch inputs. So if you have questions regarding this video, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Give it a like and we'll do something else for the next one.